Hey guys, it's NST, Never Stop Traveling, and today we're gonna go over 10 necessities to bring when going on a flight in the winter. So the first thing you want to bring is um, like some sweater or a comfortable jacket and something that you'll, you'll make you feel pretty comfortable when you're on the on the plane and whatnot. Um, this is the jacket I'd recommend because you can also compact it and use it as a pillow. Super comfortable, super warm. You can unzip it to cool down a little bit. Um, perfect for flights. This is what I use. And then you gotta you gotta make sure you bring those snacks because when you're on a flight, sometimes they don't have good snacks or good food or you know good water or whatnot. And if you bring your own or buy it, you know, in the airport, then you're set because it's like. You know, you'll have enough food for the whole the whole go. And then these power converters are really great. I have one of these and it'll come up. Yeah, pocket juice. That's what I use. It's like 20,000 milliamp hours and you can charge your phone or I can charge my phone with this about eight times, maybe nine times depending. Really good for, for traveling and stuff. And then warm, super comfortable socks. Um, this is a big deal because when I'm on flight, sometimes my feet get cold or if you're you're landing in say Chicago or New York, um, it's just really cool when you get off the plane, and it's really nice to have comfortable socks when when you get off the plane. You don't even have to wear them on the plane if you're coming from the tropics, but once you get off, it's the way to go to have a uh, comfortable socks and and then you might want to bring a you might want to bring an extra pair of clothes on your carry on, depending on how long your flight is or your transit is, because Say you got a 12 or 24 hour plus flight, say you're coming from you know Asia or Europe and you're going to the States or vice versa, um, I would just recommend having you know extra clothes and whatnot. Always, always bring extra headphones in case they break. Um, the wireless ones are really good. And then it's just it's just a nice thing to have in case you know you you misplace a pair or they break or whatnot. Um, I always personally bring a journal and a book. Journals are great because you can just write down thoughts or ideas, and then a good book is, you know, great if there's, you know, they won't let you use your electrical devices depending on the flight. Um, these are a couple of good ones I'd recommend. And then um, sometimes on flights they get really, really tired, and um, it's kind of hard to sleep because of the lights. So I put in, I'll take some melatonin. And melatonin is great because it'll, it'll, it's kind of natural stuff that helps you pass out. Your body, your brain naturally produces this when there's low lights, but if there's a lot of lights. Maybe have some eye covers and some melatonin to help you knock out. Along with that, a uh, great pillow, neck pillow, is phenomenal for you know sleeping on a flight. Um, I've done these bean bag ones and they're not so great, but the memory foam ones are super great. Definitely recommend them. And then clothes. You want a good pair of clothes um, when you're on the flight. I know I talked about jacket and socks, but like comfortable pants, comfortable shoes. Definitely don't wear high heels. Um, and then I would highly recommend having, uh, if you have Netflix, maybe download some extra, extra movies or clips, um, cause you can watch them offline, maybe some documentaries or some scary movies or, you know, whatever you're into. Uh, it's just a nice thing to have when you're on a flight and maybe they don't have a good movie selection or don't have any movies in general. Um, but depending where you are in the world, they should have Netflix. I think everywhere but China and there's some Middle Eastern country they don't have it yet. But um, yeah, if you guys like this video, um, you know, please like and if there's any other videos similar to this you want me to make, put them in the comments and subscribe if you want to watch some more travel hack videos. And then I will put a bunch of links in the description box for um, different gear that I personally have that was on this list and that I would recommend getting. Alright guys, take care. Never stop traveling.